Right, boys, here we go. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to FM tutorial number two. Also, not just a tutorial, but a little top three um, of skins. I keep getting asked about my skin, like, regularly. What skin do you use? What skin do you use? So, I'm going to show you three skins that I've used over the past 12 months. Now, everyone's entitled to their opinions. Some people have horrendous skins with fucking... Multiple things going in the background and colours and shit. I like to keep mine pretty simple and pretty basic. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to get it, where I get them from, how to get it in the game, how to download it, etc, etc. Um, but before we get into today's episode, much appreciated if you smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel because there'll be a lot more guides and little tutorials like this along with a new Let's Play series with Deportivo La Coruña, Super Depot is back. That is starting in a couple of weeks' time on the channel. We've also got a live stream going with uh, Sampdoria, and we've also got my Fenerbahce's save, and the main one of, the, of FM20, my non-league to Premier League with York City. So lots and lots on the channel, so it'd be much appreciated if you hit that subscribe button. Now, here we go. This is what I do. Right, so FM Scout, head yourself over to Skins. I'm going to show you one that I haven't got, uh, but I think he's quite popular. I think it's this one, Flut Skin. So obviously click on it, press download, give it a couple of seconds, up it, up it pops, press download, get rid of that. It goes in there, look. You'll either get it as a zip file or you'll get it as a, a RAR file. Either way, either way you need to um, extract it. Right, once it's extracted, okay, sometimes you get two folders. Always at the bottom as well. They normally have instructions for you as well. So it says download, extract the file, which we have done. Place the FM20 flood skin dark folder in the skins folder. So I'm just going to cut that. Go to Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager, Skins, paste it in there. All right, then go back into the game and then go into the game. So this is my Sampdoria save. All I want you to do then is go Preferences. And there you go. It's up there. So press it. Press Confirm. It should do this. Sometimes it can take a while depending on the change and stuff. But just give it time. I think this one's a crazy one. I think there's a lot going on in this skin. But some of them do work. Some of them are really good for if you have background pictures and and city packs and uh, all the player faces and stuff. It does work. And they can look really smart. Wow. <laughs> okay, so a busy, busy screen. So not my cup of tea at all but it's here and um, there's a fair bit going on but some people like it and I, there's a part of me that likes it it's just maybe a bit it's just maybe a bit too busy for me i think it does work i'm on preferences here look i'm on zoom so if we go back to standard size there we go that's a bit better okay and in here if you had the cities pack you had you would have a picture you would have a picture of the cities there of the city of uh, genoa so there you go that's how you do it. It's as simple as that. I don't know. I don't know if I like that one or not. I don't know if I like that one or not. It's a bit too busy for me, but I could get used to it. I could get used to it. As I said, last week's episode, all the, the major packs that I got, the face packs and the logo packs and stuff, make, do make the game a million times better. Okay, so that is how we do it. All right. I'm now going to show you my three favorite skins okay so number three all these once again links down in the description you can find these on uh fm scout right here we go top three this is the tcs skin as i said available on fm scout now i did use this for a lot of my time last year it does have a purple version as well um I've just moved away from the purple version because I'm using another one that's purple. So I just thought I'd give you the, the dark version, which I think is maybe more popular. Um, I think it looks really smart. I love having the stadiums in. The homepage is nice, 
not too cluttered like the last one. Um, very clear. Badge looks superb. An enlarged badge for me always works. Um, history on the main page. Squad as well. It's all pretty, all pretty standard, the rest of it. It's not a mass it's not a massive change. If we go through look the pages, it's not a massive it's not a massive change. Everything's pretty similar. It'll just be a few little tweaks that the fonts obviously changed. Um, okay, so the game screen's a little bit different. I do like that. I do like that. With the score, the score, the bad uh, the the font and the badge up the top looks really smart. It does look really smart. This one's already grown me on me once again. There you go. You can obviously change these as well. Very clear. So you can change that to whatever you require. I would normally just go, I normally keep basic and just go down the, the road of match stats. All right, so that is number three, TCS skin. It says it is available in purple as well. I think it's called the Work, Work the Space Edition. Um, that's number three. Let's jump into number two. Number two is the SSD Gold Skin. I think he's by FM Life or something. Uh, version one point four. Now, I love the color code, uh, the colors. I'm obviously from the, the the channel branding and stuff that I've had is a lot of black and gold in it. So black and gold always suits me. I'm not too keen on the font. The fonts are bit too basic for me I, i'm not too keen on the little font but once again it's nice and clear home page looks fantastic the city's pack as well if you want that to add that to it kits look really good trophies results little tactics board as well for the team legends icons everything on the main page um very very smart Similar in a way to the last one as well. Just the, I just think the gold just makes it just ping out that little bit better. If we go into a game, there you go. So a little bit smaller. Nice and basic, but if you like a bit of black, a bit of gold, this is the one for you. I did use it for a bit on FM20, and then I've, I have moved since, but... At the time, when I first posted it on and I started using it, I had so many comments in the videos um, saying, what's going to use him, what's going to use him. So it must be quite popular um, for you Football Manager fans who like new skins. So there you go. Basic, but if you like a bit of black and gold, I think it is very nice. If you look on the player thing there, look, I always change attributes, the colour attributes anyway, but nice and clear, not too cluttered. So I like it. There you go. Okay. And number one, the one that I've had so many questions. What skin do you use? What skin do you use? Well, the version I use is Renzi Skin Purple version, his latest version, 2.5. You'll find it on FM Scout. Links in the description below. He has different variations. I think he has a dark. He might even have a light. I'm not too sure, but I've gone for the purple. And I absolutely love it. The good thing about these skins as well, I think all of them actually have an instant instant result button, which for pre-season friendlies, I've often used it in um, other series, sort of like cups that you're not bothered about, like the Football League Cup and stuff like that. Um, any Anything really, if you want to do your league games that you're not asked about because the season's over, or you just generally plats the way you play, these make it a little bit easier. So, profile screen, nice and clear. Love the purple. Home screen looks absolutely fantastic. You need to get, obviously, the background. You need to get the stadium packs. Very easy to find. They're on FM Scout. I think they're even on Sorted Out SI as well. So they're, they're there for you. I'll maybe add them in. I'll add them in next week when we do the kits, the kits um, tutorial. I'll add them in there for you. Um, but for me, it's just the clearest. It's nice and bright. It's not too dull. The font as well is bloody brilliant. You've got the nice big faces if you've got the pack. Um, you've got this little number as well with the name and number underneath. Nice and clear. Now, I play it on Zoom, so I play it on 110%. Um, 
just so it's a little bit bigger on this little bit bigger on the screen fills the screen out a little bit more but that's just once again just a personal preference so there you go just a quick video to show you number one how to get the skins on where you get them from I've given you four skins there. Let me know down in the comments which one you preferred. Did you prefer the one that we did the demo on, the Flut skin? Did you prefer the TCS skin? That was number three. Number two was the SSD gold skin. Or do you like? Probably the most popular skin, I think, in the community, to be honest, is the Rentsy skin. There you go. I hope you found this useful. As I said, let me know if you're not using any of these four skins and you're using one feel free once again to put that down in the comments let me know and as i said next week we're now moving on to how to get kits in where i get my kits from um, and i'll also show you the stadium pack as well as a juicy little bonus um and yeah don't forget like subscribe would be much appreciated i said lots going on the channel this sampdoria save is my stream save just been sacked as manager of genoa in 12th and we've decided to go and take over their bitter rivals, Sampdoria, who were fighting a little bit of a relegation battle, but we want to catch. We want to catch Genoa. So that'll be on. This is streaming this Saturday on the channel. If you want to stop in, muchly appreciated. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. See you at the next one.